Yes, my friend. So I'm going into Mr. Markland house now. I'm in Crip, whatever I call it. In Crip, I remember house, or whatever I call it. Crip, man. So, single man Crip. Single man Crip. Yes. All right. So this is where Mr. Markland live. Yes. I'm going in for the first time. Yes. So. For 32 years. 32 years. Yes. Yeah, man. Respect, man. Yes. Wow, look at shoes. Yeah. The man have a sh the man have a shoes factory. Here. Look at shoes. Why you make me look bad? Uh, you make me look bad, Mr. Markland. Yeah, the man look. What you call it? The hotel room. The crib. <laughs> that's my crib. Yes, sir. Uh, that's Mr. Markland. The man nicer, yeah, man. The man nicer, yeah, nicer. Yeah. The crib. The nicer. Yeah. One man, single man. Yes. Camp out. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. The nicer, yeah, man. The nicer, yeah, sir. I'm a, this is my crib. The, my crib. Uh, the nicer, yeah, man. The nicer, yeah, man. Everything Chris, Mr. Markland. <laughs> Mr. Markland said everything Chris, yeah. Everything Chris for a single man. Everything. Well I wanna say everything takes place now. So these are the kitchen, they were the, this yes. are where everything takes place. Yes, everything everything takes place. Yep. So I look up my breakfast. I can make breakfast now. Yes. The man the man have everything a man, a single man. Yes. When the woman has this video man, they might go and come find you, you know. Yeah, but never rebuke them. Never <laughs> rebuke them because they don't belong to you. No. No only no only one is spirit that got in this. Amen place. to that man. I agree with that. Yes. Wow. No, no, no only one is spirit that got in this building, but mm. because they are come with steel. And to destroy. Yes. <laughs> I, I mean I know that. Yeah. You understand? Not true, man, not true. Yes. So these are like living quarters. Yes. And that's the back door here. Mmm. Let me take a little bit of a little bit. No, you might kind of open it now, yes. Yeah. And this is the back. Now you have a little back garden outside. Yeah, man, this is the back. That's, that's the good thing about ground floor. Oh, sure. Yes. Yes, sure. Ah. My father went up. Okay. Yes, Mr. Markland, how are you? Thank God to life, man. Thank God to life. Yes, man, thank God to life, man. Mm. For all that I've been through, brother. Okay. I'm telling you, man. I thank God to life because. It's only God make me alive, you know. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, man, like me, where you know, grew up in a St. Thomas, though. You know, in my school days. Mm -hmm. All sickness rock my bone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the reason why I get the name Duffy Bone. Duffy Bone, okay. <laughs> yes, man. That's the reason why I get the name Duffy Bone because I'm the maga. And people wonder, how oh, you so maga? But you know who give me that name though? I'm a brother, you know, my big brother was dead, you know. Yeah? Yes, man. Yes, man, my big brother was dead, man. And he give me one next name, Haddad. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then it ring out in the school days now, Duffy Bones. That was my nickname, Duffy Bones. Okay. And it never offended me once because I don't get offended. With um, with, with things because everybody have a nickname in time. Not true, man. Everybody where I grew up back in the West Indies have a nickname. Everybody have a nickname, you know. Everybody have a nickname in time, so it never bother me, you know. Cause we used to call people nickname when we go to school and we have to run. run. Oh, are you phone a ring? Mm, but me not answer it. Okay then, Mr. Mark. Yes. What's going on now, yeah? Yes. We are gonna do a little interview with you. Mm. Cause we want to know a little bit about you. Mm. Ignore the phone ringing. 
Now, what I want to talk to you about today yes, is sir. about your school days. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. How you yes. end up? Because I think you're born in England. Right, I was born here and I have three sisters. Yes, yeah, so I want to know I'm how... The I'm the first one. The first one. And my three girls follow me. So I want to know how mm. you're born here, mm. but yet still you grew your school in Jamaica. Well, so before we get to that stage, mm. Mm. how old are you Mr. Markland? Can I may ask you? By God's grace, this year we're 62. 62. By God's grace. I've gone 61 already. And by God's grace, I'll be 62 July. Okay, are you born in the UK? I was born in a place named Birmingham. Birmingham. West Bramage. And what age did you go to Jamaica? I, when I was five. When you was five years old? My, I was five. My sister followed me, Lynette, was one. No, 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 what did I say? Four. I was one year apart. Eileen mm -hmm. was three. And Juliet, my little sister, she was eight months old. Okay. So my mom took us. All to Jamaica at the age of five at nineteen sixty five. Okay. And my father was still here. So you was you was conscious, you you you, you know how what was going on at that five year old age. No, me never me never me never no, no. understand that what was the, going the on. The only thing I remember when when me go to Jamaica me get a beating. You get a beating? Yes, because um we went to a man a ship. Okay. And I remember I was following a man up on the cabin on the last deck. And I remember saw my mom running coming for me and she gave me a good beating back down into the ship. And I thank God because if she never catch me that time, maybe I wouldn't be here alive today because she, she said I was following a man. I you know when I picked me with road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she run, come up and grab me. That means the, 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 the top of the ship at the deck, if you fall over, you're gone in you know, the sea. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. So I remember that beating there. It was a proper beating, some proper slap up. That's the only thing I remember. And um, one little thing I remember, when my uncle was taking us to the wharf, Southampton Wharf, because my uncle took us to the Southampton Wharf to catch the ship to Jamaica, mm -hmm. I remember the one to urinate. And they, they put a kerchief on the floor and tell me to urinate on it. I remember that clearly. As a, as a little child? Yes, I remember. That time I had, I had not such a care ceiling. Okay. I remember that. Okay. But there are some things you can remember when you yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Specific. Mm -hmm. And um, that happened on the ship? No, no, in the car. Oh, in the car? Oh. On the way to Southampton. Oh, right, okay. That was my uncle taking us to Southampton. Right, right. In his car. Mm -hmm. And I can remember my mom. My mom and all the girls in the back seat, and me and my father in the front seat, and my uncle are driving. Mm -hmm. And me and we, and my father, they just put me sideways to just be. So, where was your sister them at that time? They was in the back seat. Same way. Mama, Juliet was a baby, you know. Okay, okay. Ma Mama had Juliet in her, in her lap, in her hand. Mm -hmm. And my other two sisters, they in the back seat. Okay. And me and my father in the front, and my uncle are driving. Right. Yeah, that time it was, you know, in the 1965, don't learn everybody to tell you I must sleep in a car. Right. So you went to Southampton, we were on a boat, the, 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 ship, the ship from there to Jamaica. to Jamaica. How long was the journey? You could, can you remember that? I mean, I have not, no. You have no experience about I that? I mean, when I reach at Jamaica. I reach at Jamaica. I mean, it's called Juan's, I mean, not the sun hot. Right. And what age can you remember yourself living in Jamaica? Um. I can remember from 12 when I start school, one from and school. Okay. I can I can have some good memory from, from the age 12. of 12. Because the reason why I can remember that age, that's the year when my grandmother died. Right. That's my father and mother. Yeah, that's one and a half is there. Sadella. Sadella, yeah, I know Sadella. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So from 12, I remember that good. Right. So you can't, between. The age of you go back to Jamaica, hop onto the age of twelve. You can't remember. I know a lot of things happen. Mm -hmm. A lot of things happen. Me know me the rule, and I know I was very sickly asthma. Asthma mm -hmm. nearly took me yeah, life. Yeah. And I wasn't going to school properly up to the age of twelve. Right, right. I was because going, of the sickness that yes, you were going because through. Yes, because I reached halfway and I have to turn back. Mm -hmm. 
you know, could manage the journey like my brothers and sisters. So you used to go to school at Mount Vernon? Right, that's my and, first and school. And it was a la- long journey? Yes, I couldn't manage it. And mm. I was sick a lot. I went to school and instead of being at the classroom, me at the, um, the, 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 the principal office. Okay. So how long did you go to Mount Vernon school for before you leave to Cedar Valley? I spent about, about two years at Mount Vernon, you know. Spent two years, about because two years. Because the reason I moved from Mount Vernon is because my, the, my mother was contemplating about the journey mm. and the terrain and the hills. Yeah, because I, I could say that mm. the, between Mount Vernon school mm. and Cedar Valley school, you're looking at almost the same journey. Uh, it's, Cedar it's Valley could be even a little longer, the, the, but it's less terrain. hills and terrain. You know? Yes, yes. Because from Mount Vernon coming up, you, 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 it's like you have a oh, God, place God. where nobody lives. You know, lonely my, place. My start at Bush, them, them around Sandridge and all mm. them places like Mount Rose Hill. That's some serious place, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you come like goat, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some place where we climb to go school. And we never think it has up. Yeah. But me, you know, me think it's up because I mean, look everybody there in front of me behind a blow like tea. Because when I, when I look back into these things, I, I can remember you mm. as um, a boy. Not when, I never knew you when you was going to Mount Vernon School, but, Cedar Valley. but when he was going to Cedar Valley School, mm. the things that stand out with me mm. and you mm. is when you're coming from school mm. in the evening mm. and you reach like a puppy spends them, mm. and when the hazma take you, the and, the grill and you lean up on the banking and trying to catch breath. Yes, can you remember anything about that? Oh God, man, brother, listen, let me tell you something. When me have prayed to God, you see, me remember everything. In my life, in my asthma days, coming up because when me I pray to God and I thank God to keep me and thank Him for keeping me. I remember everything. I remember I can tell you everybody house where me sleep, you know, from bed to from sit what may I say? From down Mr. Russell to Cedar Valley, Bethel to Mount Vernon Gap. I mean I think nobody else house like when I sleep in you know. And because of the asthma. Because any way the asthma take me, they may park up, you know. Mm. You understand? One week, you know, mum. Yes, yes. One time, let me spend three weeks at mum's house, you know. The health center out of Cedar Valley there, Nurse Potter, out of Cedar Valley there. Mm. We spent two weeks at her house, you know, in a nurse hotel bed, you know. All them people, they've been always alive, man. Me have, me have when I go to Jamaica, man, I tell them, happy to them, happy to them. Man. Big up to the family. Yeah, man. Miss, let me say, if those people was alive, me personally, I take care of them. Mm. You understand? And that's the reason when me go to Jamaica, I can't stop me with money. Mm-hmm. Because I make sure I go to Jamaica. I make sure I go to Jamaica National. And I make sure I have a hundred thousand in my pocket. Because I know, say, Three quarters is a giveaway, you know. Because from a touch Cedar Valley ago, anybody beg me a money because I tell you something. I don't think anybody left over there when I have a part to play with me and my sickness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You understand? Well, not, no, but in, 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 in the. I'm talking up to. I'm talking up to 1884. Right, because yet before I left to Kingston, and when I left to Kingston, that's the time when my life started to turn around. And even when I went to Kingston in 1984, I visited all the hospitals in, in Kingston. I went to the National Trust, I spent three months there. My record in Kingston public thick like the Bible. I went to University Hospital and then when I start drive taxi now in Jamaica. 86. In Jamaica. Right. Then Spanish Town Hospital was on my hospital too. Mm. So hold on, let me ask you. At that stage when you were driving taxi, mm. were you still suffering with the asthma? Yes, but not as bad because the doctor they told my mom the more I grow, I will grow it out. Mm. And that's what I discover right now. Because the more I get older, I realize I was getting less attack. Mm-hmm. And then what contributes towards that now, 
medications is available, more medication is on the market mm -hmm. that are available to me or to every asthmatic that suppress it. Mm -hmm. So it's like every year you hear that something come out. For instance, when I was going to school, I never used the nailer. Mm -hmm. Pay tablet. I never knew about dental okay. in the nailer until when I went to town. Right. You understand? And the inhaler was the biggest thing that come out for asthma people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because you get asthma that I have, you get too tough, straight away, get, straight away immediately relief. Right. Then they come out now with the preventer. So, so many things come out on the market as the science, scientists start to improve. Mm -hmm. And then it, it makes life easier for all asthmatic, uh, big of all asthmatic people then. Because they know what I'm talking about. Yeah, cause that's why that's why we're talking about this because mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. a lot of people out there who mm -hmm. is suffering with asthma mm -hmm. even right now mm -hmm. and struggling about it. But for you mm -hmm. who been through it for such a long time them. and suffer so much we suffer, man. with asthma, we suffer, man. you know somebody right now mm -hmm. who is going through asthma, listen to your story mm -hmm. is hope for them. Miss, listen, man. let me tell you something. Anybody who has suffered with asthma right now. Let me tell you, man, don't lose hope because me tell you, me, look, asthma take me that, me black out, you know, one, this, this thing, one time asthma take me, I sit up at the school, is it for that game, I was looking up in the ceiling in, in Princess Margaret Hospital, you know, black out, mm. my little sister then, I love my sister then, you know, because, you see, Irene, you know, you know, when, when asthma took me, you know, them girls there, even sometimes they make a fun of me and laugh because sometimes me have grown, me say, Mama, Mama, they will come front of me and like they want to mock me. But away from that, they were dear for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, my three sisters, they were dear. My brother was dear. You have three sisters? Me, 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 me have a big sister, but she lives in town. Yeah, so you, how many sisters and brother you? Me have four sisters. Four sisters, how many brothers? Two in New York, one in England, which is in Battersea, and then we have one brother in New York, we have two brothers in Jamaica and a sister. So in total, in total it's what? Eight of you? Yes, and, and we have two brothers die. Two die. So you have eight alive? Yes. Yeah. No, no. Four sister, yes. Eight alive. Yeah. So out of all your brother and sister, mm. is any of your brother and sister them ever suffer with asthma? Yes, my biggest sister. Your yeah, biggest sister, Marlene. Yes, she she have it. Right. But, but she not have it bad like me. Okay. You know, I mean, me, me, me get the full dose, sir. But you know what they happen, sir. You know, never the whole England, sir. Because you remember in, in, in the 60s in England, yeah, the map was black fog mm. and thick fog and smog were going at people's lungs. I hear some get them so you, have to, so you have to give God thanks that you did leave at a young age and go yes, back to Jamaica man. then. And then bad fog up here, man, and smog, man. And God, in the 60s, it was coal burning here, you know. Mm. Not gas. Them gas thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Coal are burned. And no people die. You so know? anyway, we, we, we're going to wrap up this one because um, I, I want to go into mm. your Christian life. Mm. So but what I want to talk about mm. is about some about your your life growing up in Cedar Valley School? When my life growing up in Cedar Valley School, um, my head was strict. Mm. Yes, my head was strict. Uh, um, that was the good thing about me. I could, my head was strict, but I never liked maths. You never liked maths? No. When maths come around, I don't know. Mm. And one more thing I never liked, the other thing in composition, I mm -hmm. never liked that one there. Okay. Mm -mm. When maths and composition time, then time, you get, get punished. So the, the, the asthma never tr trouble your, your learning then? No, no, because I get homework. Mm -hmm. And when I can't do, uh, be in the class, my teacher will still give me my homework when I go home and do it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I don't present my homework till like three, four days or a week. Okay. When I feel better when I go back to school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You understand? And I was a good, I was a good reader. Mm -hmm. You know, but maths and composition are not for me. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me not like the maths. The only thing I remember about maths are algebra. Mm. So how is your friendship 
a school because you know sometimes when you're growing oh, up as, God, a, as, as, as a boy growing up and, mm. and you're going through sickness mm. other children will look at you and they will mock you and jeer you me what never, that was like when you was growing up in school still have a school no me never had no problem with, you, with my school mates you never had any problem no no especially the people who move from Mount Vernon Gap Cedar Valley Mangaroa and you me not have a problem with school mate then mm. no so we grew like so, we, like one we, we grew like family that's what, that's Darren we, Watson Marva them burial them. It's like they were sympathy That's for me. That's why we have to ask this question because yeah, we're wrapping you now and school days as yeah, youth yeah, yeah. and youth coming up and yes, you know we, we, we get our lunch money go to school yeah. and we buy marble with it and you yes. play marble and clip take your money put what, your money. What me used to spend my money for my lady the pudding. <laughs> Miss Evie. Miss Evie. Miss Tidy. Tiny. Tidy. 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 <laughs> yeah. Actually, Miss Granny, Miss Granny. Yes, as tidy whistle. In that time, what was on there? Them time it was penny, penny. Penny, yeah, yeah. Cause I used to carry chop and I used to yes. get chop and for lunch. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I used to get chop and for lunch, and yes. chop and is like three penny. I, I, the, uh, the amount of food no meat, no right. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of food no meat, that that woman that food no. And you know, me used to like butter pudding. Uh, you know, you know, you know the um, when they make the pudding, it have that little creamy part for turn it up for the pudding. Uh, me not like when it join the creamy part. And the part yeah, man, me know your dark Me know your dark Yeah, man. Me know your dark bone. Yeah, tell you, man. Me used to choose what side of the pudding you want, man. That part of the cream. Mm -hmm. The wet top one. Yes. Yes, man. Wow. Yes, man. But my school days was good and I always away yeah, from my health. But, um, mm. I just thank God to be alive, you know, because right now I've seen people. Listen, me, I went to Kingston Public Hospital. Six people were sitting in a room. I, did, I remember this specific. I was driving yellow cab at that time. And the taxi parked out of the front. I went there 9 o'clock in the morning. And I was there till 11 o'clock in the night. I get one adrenaline first, and every half, every half hour. They give you a next adrenaline. So when I get the first one, then the doctor check your chest. If you're wheezing, you get the second one. If you're still wheezing, you get the drip. We then call it with yeah, the amanda yeah, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some people call it sea line. Mm -hmm. One lasts for eight hours. And we get two at, at 16 hours up, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six people were beside me because all the asthmatic and then put them in the room because they class us as emergency. Mm -hmm. And I came out about two o'clock in the morning. Then time they you know think about you know think about gun man and nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. Cause then days I was good. Yeah, then days I was good. Because man. I turned the passion mm -hmm. time, you know. Yeah. And anyway, I don't want to stretch out this video. And just cause it just that's a quick one. Yeah. When I went back the following week, mm -hmm. I was told that one of the man that was beside me him died. Oh my god. And he was asthmatic. So you, you know, God, God was on your side, yeah. and this is what we're gonna go into the next video because we wanna talk about your how you mm -hmm. react with the Christian life, how did you get saved mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So you know, basically, we just here talking to Mr. Markland mm -hmm. about his life and his asthma and how we get through it mm -hmm. up until these days. Because for somebody who was born in England mm -hmm. in the summer part of life, where England was dark like midnight. Yeah, man. man cool. When I come here, I hear that. We don't see anything because when the bus used to run, I used to have to walk with a, 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 light. a light in front of the bus. Yes, man. And I think that's where he born. Mm. When you born here, that's in, in that, our topic. Yeah. Mm. So you know, you you make it all through asthma, mm. and you manage to go to Jamaica and mm. survive through it. So and start my life there. Start your life. So I want to say a big respect to you and a big God bless you to you. Mm. And I said thank you for every person who watch this video. Mm. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You don't miss any video that goes up. So tune in and we will catch you on the next video. Mm. We're going to go into Mr. Markland life pertaining to him and God because God done a lot for him mm -hmm. during his asthma. So now he's still alive. He could have passed and gone already, mm -hmm. but God still give him another chance. Yes. So now we're going to talk about his Christian walk mm. of life. So tune in for that one.